Okay, let me make the diagram for this program first and then we will discuss. So this is figure 1.30. So this kind of diagram you have and then there is shown something like this they call this distance as S this distance is small h and this distance they have written as capital H this point is A if you copy this figure then I can discuss the what problem says so let me read the question. A small object, a small disk is slides down the initial slides down with initial velocity equal to zero. So this disk slides down this inclined plane with initial velocity zero. So u is equal to zero. From the top of a smooth hill, capital height h. So this height of the hill is h, and this is frictionless. That is mu is equal to zero. That is also given to you. A smooth hill, we have having a horizontal portion so this portion is horizontal so this portion is horizontal so you have to assume so this means when this is rolling over this when this disk is rolling over this smooth horizontal surface it will have only one component of velocity in this direction because this is a horizontal surface it can only move in this direction it cannot move in the vertical direction so it will have only one component of velocity and let us say velocity will have only let us call this velocity is v it will have only in horizontal direction let us call this axis x axis so i can say velocity will be only in the x direction so let us write velocity only in x direction so at this point of time the velocity will be only in the x direction so there will be no component of the y velocity the question asks what must be the uh, let me read uh, horizontal height is what must be the height of the horizontal portion h to ensure the maximum distance s covered by the distance covered by the disk so what i want i want s to be maximum that the horizontal distance covered on the plane this distance i want to maximize this distance so i want x to be maximum for that what should be the height h so I want what should be the small height h so that the s will be maximum. Now this is an easy problem. What we will do is let us call point A. This point let us call this point as a B. So this is a point B. So I can apply energy conservation at this point. This point I am calling as a B. At this point and this point and then I can find the velocity. So if I apply energy conservation or I can use loss in potential energy equals to gain in kinetic energy. So let us apply loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy generally I apply this 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 form of the energy conservation gain in kinetic energy so initially this disk was here and now this disk is on this plane so this distance is H this distance is capital H so this is the loss that is capital H minus a small h are you getting so what is the loss in potential energy that is mgh and h is nothing but h minus h what is gain in kinetic energy so you have initial velocity zero now here you have velocity b so gain in kinetic energy will be half m v square so if you solve for b so b will be 2g h minus h now this is the velocity we'll have and now this velocity is only towards the x direction are you getting now so what will happen so if this is coming here so after rolling this is coming over this horizontal surface so let us say this is the incline so after this coming on this incline coming through this on this horizontal surface now it will take a path of projectile so it will follow this projectile path so velocity is v and it will follow a projectile path it will fall somewhere here now this height is h that is given to you now you can apply the equations for projectile to find this distance s are you getting 
So let us say in the horizontal direction if I write equation in the horizontal direction distance cover is S, initial velocity is B, T plus half is A T square, acceleration in the X direction is zero. So this is the equation in the horizontal direction. So that is S is equals to B T. So S is equals to B T. That is equation in the horizontal direction. So this problem is easy one. Now if I write equation in vertical direction. Vertical direction. Let us say this is going in the downward direction. Distance h, initial velocity is zero. I am taking distance in the downward direction is positive, so I have to take acceleration in the downward direction should be positive. That is half z t square, half z t square. So from here I can get t. So t is nothing but 2h by z under root. Now if I plug the value of time in the equation one, so let us call this as equation two. Let us plug this value of time in equation one. So if I plug in equation one, so s will be b into t. So this will be b into t is under root two h by z. And you see we have already solved for b. So b is nothing but under root two z h minus h. So plug the value of b under root two z capital h minus h. This is the velocity. Into under root 2h by this is the total distance. So g cancels out, so we will have s is equals to g cancels out, so we will have 2h minus h into h and 2 2. You will have this 2 into this 2, so the 2 will be outside. So this is the total distance covered. Now what I want to do is I want to maximize this distance. So I want maximum s. So now if I have a maximum s. This also suggests me I can maximize s square. That is because of if s is maximum, then s square will also be maximum. So why not we maximize s square? Because then I have to do, I don't have to consider the root. Maximize s square. Same thing. So if I maximize s square, so s square is nothing but four, and this is h minus h into h, or I can write four h into h. Minus 4s square, 4h square. Now this s square is a function of a small h because h is can be varied. So I can differentiate this equation ds square by dh. This will be 4h. Now this will be h into h. And now for to be the maximum s, I have to create this is equals to zero. So from here I am getting h is equals to capital H by 2. So The condition for s to be maximum is small h should be half of the capital H. This result you can remember. Now you see what will be the s? S is nothing but you see here that is two times under root h minus h into h. If I plug the value of a small h, so this is h minus h by two into h by two. So we will have two into h by two. Into h by 2, so we will have 2 into h by 2. So this is the, and this will be the h. Are you getting? So if you multiply and divide by 2, so we will have h. So the maximum displacement that will be reached by the disc is h. I think all of you have copied this one. There is nothing in this problem. Only simply you have to find s. You have to use the energy conservation and you have to apply the parabola equation. So concept of parabola. So two things is here. You see the concept of energy conservation and concept of parabola. If you have these two concepts, you can solve this problem easily. We have another problem of the same concept. Let us discuss that one.